So, Doug, here's your 1951 uh, Mercury, uh, uh, I think it's just Mercury, 1951 Mercury Mercury. Anyway, uh, 1951 Mercury 24th scale uh, Jada uh, model that you sent me. Uh, decals and everything are already on it for YouTubers are going to say, hey, I want that car built. So, anyway, decals are already on it, so these cars are already available. Um, doors, everything on it operates just like it did when you sent it to me, or when I opened it up anyway. Um, hood opens, doors open on this, trunk opens on this. Uh, you can see the battery in the trunk. It will come in and out of the trunk, but to be honest with you, I would probably pull the car apart. They just take the screws out of the bottom to change it. Like I said, it will come out, but it's kind of, it's a beast to get in and out. I'm just going to be honest with you. Um, like I said, no more than you'll have to be changing it probably because that battery should last a long time with it running even. Um, I would just take the, you know, pop the screws out of the bottom and switch them out. Um, or switch the battery out. It just makes it a little bit easier. But anyway, battery is in the trunk. And we'll close these doors and everything up here. And you got uh, one switch on the bottom. Oh, by the way, I went ahead and took the liberty of doing some black painting, uh, blacking out some stuff in the wheel wells and everything so the paint from the hood and everything else doesn't show through on these. Uh, you know how they look when you get them out of the box. And uh, so I went ahead and painted up underneath, uh, blacked a lot of the stuff out in the wheel wells and everything. Makes it a little bit more authentic, realistic, whatever word you want to use. Uh, one switch on the back by the rear bumper here. Turn that on. And you wanted a beacon in the, on the roof beacon. My camera, there we go, it's picking them up now. Uh, it's got like a triple flash to it. I wired it a little bit differently than I do some of the other ones since you only had one LED. And uh, put a couple of outputs from the board to that uh, to give it a little bit more of a uh, more rapid flash pattern, a quick strobe. The camera's not picking them up very well, but there's like a, almost looks like a fire going in, under my hand. But anyway, there is a... Uh, uh, now it's single LED in there, but it does have a couple outputs going to it to make it strobe a little bit quicker. Uh, you've also got headlight strobes on this one, as you can see. And the cam there we go. I said the camera just stopped picking them up. Uh, so you got headlight strobes, and then on the rear you got your tail light strobes on this. And this thing sits low, man. Um, you see the tail light strobes as well. Went ahead and took the lenses off on this. Obviously, to take, I have to do it to take them, put them with LEDs in there. And went in and cut out a, a lot of the metal that's around here. There's a small place on there, and it was just lighting up the lens. is kind of poopy. Uh, a lot of builders are happy with that. I'm not. Uh, again, I said it before in a video, I'm not going to bust anybody's balls over it. But anyway, um, I just think it looks a lot nicer to have the entire lens light up instead of just one little spot. Uh, like I said, it takes a little bit more time to build them like that. But again, I'm a little pickier than a lot of builders, I guess. So yeah. That's way that's way it sits anyway. Um, again, on the front uh, strobes, uh, did the same thing on this. Like I said, they're embedded in there pretty well. And you can tell the entire light lens lights up on these, so looks pretty cool. Uh, now, since uh, I didn't have to build a light bar for this, although that little beacon, believe it or not, took about as long to light up as a normal light bar would for me, uh, I took the liberty of doing something else for you. Since this is like a cool little show car, and there was a lot of chrome and everything under the hood on this one. We lift the hood up, and you can probably already see it maybe in there. I put a red and white strobe back behind the intake on this. Um, lights up the, under the hood pretty well. Uh, pretty good. It's a very rapid uh, strobe. I don't know if the camera will pick it up a little bit better this way or not. Anyway, it's a red and white alternating strobe. Really adds a real cool flash uh, strobe effect to the chrome and everything on the motor. So it looks really cool. You're going to like that. Um, the cool part about it, like I said, once the hood shuts, you don't even notice that it's even on. Matter of fact, I can probably turn this light out, and you still probably, that's the reflection from the beacon, you still can't even tell that it's under there. So, I've got it sealed out pretty good so it don't, there we go, can't even see it anywhere. So it doesn't show anywhere, there's the beacon showing back through. Um, so anyway, it's sealed out pretty good. Um, keep it from showing out, you don't want it showing through the cracks or anything. I don't know if it'll show a little bit better this way or not. Eh, a little bit. Anyway, it did turn out pretty cool. Like I said, you're going to like it in there. Uh, kind of looks neat. If you don't like it, you can leave the hood shut. Just kidding. Uh, anyway, so I'm finished up with her, and I will get on the, what do I have of yours still? The Ford Raptor truck, I think. Sent me a Raptor truck. And I'll get those knocked out. And once I get the Raptor built, I'll holler at you and let you know. Doug, thanks again for the bills. Appreciate the business. And looking forward to doing more for you, man. Have a good one.